I'm Margaret Ann Windsor, and I've just put up a video. I had some problems there toward the end of it, and I had to see if I could upload it and did. This is the second half of it. This is my dad, the King Edward VIII, the real King Edward VIII, not the imposter that married Wallace Simpson and became the Duke and Duchess of Windsor and stole my father's title. My father was always married to Claudia Ruth O'Keefe, Windsor sister to artist, American artist, Georgia O'Keefe, who uh, was, uh, well, she died in, uh, well, actually, she and my mom both died close together. I did see my mom one time after I came to Roanoke, Virginia in uh, October the 20th of 86. About 12 days later at the most, I believe, I did meet with my mom. I didn't know... At the time, it was my mom, and I don't kiss people, okay? I just don't, and I don't like for them to kiss me, uh, unless it's my children on the cheek or, you know, if it were my husband. or. But um, the minute I kissed her, I started crying. Uh, and the, uh, I'll leave it at that. She... Uh, died not long after then. Let me remind you that my mom, when I was born, my mom, I believe, was 40 and my father 45. My mom was a school teacher. Now then, this is the 39, the year I was born, and George, the illegal George the Sixth, is sitting here so happy. This has been a cold-blooded takedown, so evil you can't describe it, and the ongoing crimes because of money and power. This is George VI who helped. That's Elizabeth's father. She is illegal and this whole money-hungry brood that she's got going for. Her. It's my money, the British money. You know, I never thought much about the jewels and everything uh, until I heard something on TV and I thought, my God, she's got access to all that. It's not even hers. She gave my country away. She should be, she's a war criminal, and so was that, this, this brood, because they do know it. Now, this is Roosevelt who appointed Kennedy, Joe Kennedy, ambassador to England, 36 till they kicked him out in 46. And this is the um, Eleanor Roosevelt, who later, there's a photo I put up where she's actually shaking hands with Wallace Simpson, who married the imposter that was not my dad. And they've stood by and helped do this to my father, illegally take him down with me. I'm Victoria II, and let me say this. People may not think it was legal. It is. Should I ever get to uh, go before a court of law that's honest? There was an addendum to the forced abdication. It's all the treaties that were illegal treaties that were signed by George the Illegal Fifth and Elizabeth after then. 1943 to this little Emily um, is a good date to go back to, though, because this is when so much began to happen after they kidnapped me and took my dad down. Uh, this is the, um, okay, where it should be my father. It's got the descendants of King George the Fifth and Queen Mary. And by the way, it's my understanding that Mary, my grandmother, was a part didn't feel that my mom was good enough to be queen. Can you believe that crap? Well, she was, and she is, whether you acknowledge her or not. This is uh, the illegal, the person who's not my dad, became Edward, Duke of Windsor, and married supposedly Wallace Simpson. I don't think you can see it in this, this video. may not go up because of it. But anyway, it's got... Um, Elizabeth, let me see if I can get it up. I, this won't go up, I bet you, because of the, it, it's not filming it. It's the, uh, anyway, this is Georgia, my aunt, and my dad, and this is not going to go up, I bet you. Anyway, they were planning my kidnapping here in 41. She's kept it up, never once mentioned me. She's been through... Virginia while I was freezing, starving up on the mountain here. And uh, I'll leave it at that. She's been all around me and never said boo to me. 
but I bet you she, uh, yeah, I will say this. Somebody told me a couple of years ago, they had a couple of, uh, what is it, is it her Gorgies, uh, the Welch Gorgie, Corgi, excuse me here. Uh, he approached me and <laughs> implied that she had a part to do with the antifreeze that was put in the April Fool day of 80. Uh, and I believe him because of what happened later. Now I want to get to this if I can. A lot of this has been cryptic, putting a puzzle together, and maybe it doesn't make that much sense to you at the moment. Uh, maybe if it's ever told before a court in the world. Uh, like when I had the antifreeze put in me and was illegally taken across the line by this woman who was not my mother, Lima Dempsey. Here's the death certificate for Carl. They gave me the name of a twin. I mean, they just out there murdered Peggy and Carl. They gave me the name of Peggy, and I still have to use it. I married a children's. And this is all out of Texas. There was nobody that looked at the body. They just killed him and put him in the uh, grave in the winter. And this uh, birth certificate was even different dates than the one they gave me when they brought me over here. Just marked through it. I put all that up. Now I wanted to put this. I didn't want to because it's important if you stop and think. When I was working in 80 after the antifreeze, and believe me, this was a walk in living hell and hoping my kids live, I worked for Fred Simpson, uh, the district attorney in Huntsville, Alabama. That's Madison County. My mom was born in Madison, Wisconsin, the O'Keeffe's. Moved to uh, Virginia, Williamsburg. Now, I, when I started finding out about my birth in 83, real name, I ran the political campaign, flown out to Larry Flint, because he had been shot in Lawrenceville, Georgia, and I was writing about that. Uh, this is state of Alabama district attorney I wrote in Lawrence County, Alabama, Osborne. Now, what, there's not much here except if you stop. This was November of uh, 2001. I bet you this didn't go up, but it's not showing it. Anyway, the real important thing on here is this is Osborne. He's the DA. Here is Richard Proctor. Uh, his grandfather, he's the judge of probate. He, uh, His um, grandfather was Irwin, Dr. Irwin, who delivered the twins. And this was a doctor who was long-standing, was all made up and covered up. He didn't make any mistake. He put the proper date of birth of the twins down. When they put me there, kidnapped me and put me there and gave me that name, the dates were changed a year later. Anyway, uh, when I would call down there, I would be told that um, I'd have to, listen to this, this is what I'm trying to do, can you believe this, prove my birth, I can't even get a passport, can you believe it? I would have to, uh, but they told me I'd have to go back to where the kidnapping happened, and that's in London, and then they went on to say that this was a matter for the FBI. Well, I'm British, and I do know that maybe some of the FBI have tried to help me. What I want to show you here is Bolton, Alabama, might be a small town. I don't think it's that small anymore, and you probably won't be able to see it. I put it up before. So this is cryptic. Why would Osborne, whose grandfather was the doctor that delivered the twins, and I wrote this letter to him. Okay, and, uh, well, Osborne there, and this is Proctor, the probate. Why? Moulton's always had a... Uh, post office, back when I was growing up, uh, they had a post office. These were both mailed in Huntsville, Alabama. Now, that's NASA, and you get into the space industry and my hostage, what being hostage brought to the United States. Now, that's Huntsville, Alabama, Redstone Arsenal. Now then, um, you know what they call the space centers now? Johnson Space Flight Center and Kennedy. Kennedy helped kidnap me. I don't know that Johnson ever had anything to do with it. He may have been kind of a friend. I don't know. Uh, but how appalling can you just leave me out, uh, leave the Brits out? But it's unreal. In the letter, Jack Hartsville is the reporter FBI agent. 
that the letters uh, I've shown and going to show, if I can get it up here, 